Zelda's fate in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been up in the air since the very first trailer of the game. Many have hoped that the follow-up to Breath of the Wild would feature a team-up between Link and Zelda, with many even hoping that Zelda would be playable. However, it seems that the developers have had different plans for the Princess of Hyrule. In the first trailer of the game from E3 2019, we see her begin to fall as the floor below her begins to break. We see Ganon reawaken, and the castle begin to lift. In the trailers to follow, we got even more clarification that Zelda does indeed fall, with her fate being left in the air. What does this mean for Zelda's fate in Tears of the Kingdom? Let's speculate. So throughout the last couple trailers of the game, we have gotten a bit of a better timeline of how this fall happens. We can make the assumption that this happens pretty early in the game, as Link still has his regular arm from Breath of the Wild. This begins with Link and Zelda exploring under the Hyrule Castle after the events of Breath of the Wild. They seem to be looking for something, which may hint that they are already aware of Ganon being below the castle. Upon going beneath the castle, they begin to see a green swirl and also find Ganon's corpse. As Ganon awakens, a short battle happens where Link gets his arm attacked. After putting the hero out of commission, Ganon begins to raise the castle, which causes the floor below Zelda to break. Link makes an attempt to save Zelda, but ultimately fails, leaving Zelda to fall. Is it possible that Zelda could be dead throughout this game? Could the main plot surrounding Zelda this time be about how Link is going to bring her back to life? This isn't fully out of the question, as the idea of a dead character being revived has happened over and over in the Zelda universe, especially with Ganon himself. And this wouldn't be the first time Zelda has been dead either. Technically. The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks featured a ghost Zelda who acted as Link's companion for the game. However, Zelda was not technically dead in that game. Rather, her spirit was just separated from her body. However, I can see Tears of the Kingdom doing something very similar with Zelda. Maybe Zelda's spirit isn't dead, but her physical form is. This isn't unheard of at all, as the champions in Breath of the Wild suffered a similar fate after their battle with the Blight Ganons. I personally believe that Zelda may still be able to speak after the fall, and may be able to communicate with Link through his arm. In the Nintendo Direct trailer in February 2023, we see one clip where it seems that Zelda is speaking to Link after their first encounter with the revived Ganon, and she is not physically there. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. It is of course possible that the editing of this trailer made it look like she was speaking to him, but we can't take out the possibility that this could be how it actually happens in the game. If this is as it looks, does this mean that Zelda will be your companion through Tears in the Kingdom? It has been a minute since Link has had a true companion throughout his adventure, last being Fi from Skyward Sword. But let's talk about the other possibility. There is a chance that Zelda does survive that fall. What I would imagine would happen after this is her being captured by Ganon, as Hyrule Castle is sure to be swarmed with his new soldiers. However, we can't count out the possibility of Zelda being able to escape. While we haven't seen Zelda fight too many times in Breath of the Wild, we do know that she is pretty strong as she was able to contain Calamity Ganon for over a hundred years. She has also been able to take on some pretty strong enemies in the past as well as she was able to take out a guardian to save Link. There is a strong chance that she could use her magic abilities to fight her way out of the castle and just be separated from Link. However, this does raise the question of where she might be during most of these trailers. Could she be somewhere trying to figure out how to take down Ganon? Is she even aware that Link survived? Well, remembering the quote from earlier, it does seem that this quote comes from after their first encounter with Ganon as they seem both very aware of his strength. Zelda even questions if Link is strong enough to beat him. There has been another popular theory after the recent trailer as many people believe that this person in the green and white gown is Zelda. It could be that she did receive powers throughout the game and is helping fight Ganon in other ways, while Link fights Ganon's forces on the ground. However, since we didn't see this person's face, it is hard to fully say if Zelda is actually this person in this trailer. Many have also theorized that she might actually be Hylia. And even if this does end up being Zelda, I find it hard to believe that this new appearance isn't the work of the goddess herself. It could also be how Link got his new arm and his new tunic. Lastly, I would want to bring up the type of slate that Zelda is carrying in the artwork for the game, as we could tell the design is not a Sheikah slate. Is this device some sort of clue to what Zelda is up to during this game? Maybe this new type of slate was a map of sorts towards Ganon. Or maybe it is able to track the Zonai signals, which is how they found Ganon's corpse. 
However, we won't get our true answer until Tears of the Kingdom releases on May 12th, so we will just have to wait until then. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.